This presentation is about a very serious problem in the Catholic Church today, and it's this poll of U.S. Catholics. The real presence of Christ in the communion host is an infallible teaching of the Catholic Church, and 67% don't believe it. This issue is what separates Catholics from Protestants, and the Protestants are winning. The solution? This young man. He's likely the 21st century's next saint. He died too young, and he documented the 160-plus Eucharistic miracles of the world. Carlo Acutis was an English-born Italian youth who is best known for documenting Eucharistic miracles around the world and cataloging them into a website, which he created before his death from leukemia. His website research and images are the primary source for this video. He was beatified on October 10, 2020, two days before the 14th anniversary of his death. The Council of Trent addressed the real presence and spoke infallibly, quote, If anyone denies that the body and blood, together with the soul and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ, and therefore the whole Christ, is truly, really, and substantially contained in the sacrament of the Most Holy Eucharist, but says that Christ is present in the sacrament only as a sign or a figure, or by his power, let him be anathema. Here's the definition of anathema. It refers to a form of excommunication. When a person was excommunicated by anathema, a series of procedures had to be followed, including the local bishop warning the person he was committing a grave ecclesiastical crime and imperiling his soul. We'll begin with the oldest scientifically examined Eucharistic miracle on record in Lanciano, Italy. The first reports of the Lanciano miracle were in 1574, but best estimates place the miracle eight centuries earlier between 730 and 750 AD, when the town was then known as Axinum. The miracle host and blood of Jesus is on display in the Church of St. Francis now. Lanciano means lance, and tradition holds that Longinus was from Lanciano, and he was the Roman centurion who pierced the side of Jesus with a lance. A Basilian monk was said to have doubted the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist. He would, when the monk said the words of consecration, this is my body and this is my blood, he was dumbstruck, as the host and the wine were immediately changed into the living flesh and blood of Jesus Christ. It was witnessed by those in attendance. The host warmed in his hands and changed color to pink and dark red and became fleshy. The wine in the chalice darkened to a deep blood red. He turned to the congregation to show them how God had manifested himself to his unbelieving monk. The host and the blood can still be seen today at St. Francis Church in Lanciano, Italy, where it is stored in a monstrance and the blood is in five globules in a glass reliquarium beneath it. St. Thomas Aquinas in the 13th century called the process transubstantiation, where the appearance does not change, but the substance does. When the consecration words are spoken by the priest, such a miracle happens every day at Mass. We have tangible proof of this in less than 200 cases worldwide since the crucifixion, when God pulls back the veil for the world to see. The Lanciano miracle is perhaps the most famous. In 1574, Archbishop Gaspar Rodriguez investigated this miracle and found in particular that there were five globules of blood representing the five wounds of Christ on the cross. The Archbishop found that the blood weighed 15.85 grams. He also found that, incredibly enough, each globule weighed the same 15.85 grams as the whole, five pieces. And any two globules weighed the same as the whole, and the same for any three globules, etc. In 1970, the Archbishop of Lanciano, with approval from Rome, asked Dr. Edward Linoli, director of the hospital at Arezzo and professor of many specialties, to perform a thorough scientific examination on the relics of the miracle. On March 4, 1971, the professor presented a detailed report of the various studies carried out. Here are the basic results. Number one, the miraculous flesh is authentic flesh consisting of muscular striated tissue of the myocardium, which is heart tissue. Number two, the miraculous blood is truly blood. The chromatographic analysis indicated this with absolute and indisputable certainty. Number three, the immunological study showed with certainty that the flesh and the blood are human, and the tests allow us to confirm with absolute 
objectivity and certainty that both belong to the same blood type AB, the rarest blood type in the world, and the same that was found in the Shroud of Turin. It's also the same blood type of Middle Eastern populations. Number four, the proteins contained in the blood have the normal distribution in the identical percentage as that of the chart of normal fresh blood. Number five, no histological dissection has revealed any trace of salt infiltrations or preservative substance of any kind used in antiquity for the purpose of embalming. Per the Linoli Report, number 4131971, collection number 3, 1971.